everybody. It is Saturday, April 20th. Time for a cruise vlog. This is for the Enchanted Princess Cruise, taken off for the Eastern Caribbean from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We are making stops to the Princess K's, um, that is Princess's Island in the Bahamas. Then we'll be going to San Juan, Puerto Rico and St. Thomas. This is my second cruise vlog. I did a uh, cruise vlog on my first cruise two years ago. It was also a princess cruise. That was the Discovery Princess to Alaska from Seattle. And uh, my goal of this vlog is to just kind of give you a good sense of what it's like being on the ship. And uh, this time on the cruise with us, we've got some family. Um, there's nine of us in total. Should be a good time. We left about an hour ago. We got on the ship uh, around 11, I think, this morning. It's now almost 4.30. Uh, we're settling in in our room till dinner time at 5.20 tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, having you along with me. was quite the first day finally coming to an end uh, definitely feels like we've been on the ship for more than half a day but it's like 11 30 now so it's bedtime tomorrow morning we will be in the Bahamas so see you in the morning Good morning, everybody. It is day two, Bahamas Day. Um, it's about 8.15 right now. Leslie and I got up this morning, went down for some espresso and chai at the uh, Princess Live Cafe. Then we went up to the buffet for breakfast and we're waiting for the gang to be ready. And then we're gonna head down and uh, we gotta take a tender to the island and we're gonna have a big beach day today. It's 2.45 p.m. right now. We just made it back on the ship. That was a fun day out there in the Bahamas. I loved the snorkeling. We're gonna take a look at the list of activities for the day, probably go get a snack. Um, felt like a full day already, but I'm excited for some evening activities. Good morning, everybody. It's day three. Today we are at sea all day. Um, one thing that's really nice is they give you these handouts every day that tells you all the onboard activities that are going on that day. So where it's a full at sea day today, we're gonna to wanna to take a look at that and figure out exactly what we wanna do. Uh, so far this morning, we've just got some coffee and sat outside for a little bit and uh, about to head to breakfast and then figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day.
that felt like we did a lot today. It's 10.45 on Monday night, day three, about to be coming to an end. Um, yeah, headed to bed. Tomorrow morning we'll be in Puerto Rico. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's day four. It's uh, just past 7 a.m. in the morning, and today is San Juan, Puerto Rico day. So we should be getting there at about 9 a.m. And we are there till 9.30 p.m. For the next couple hours, uh, Leslie and I are gonna get some coffee, get some breakfast, and relax until we head out into San Juan. I think our plan for the day is to um, get out there this morning, spend a good chunk of time there, and then come back on the ship for a little bit refresh and then go back out again at night for a little bit so we'll see what ends up happening and we'll see you in san juan been walking around San Juan for several hours now. It's 1.30 and uh, we got some storms rolling in pretty bad. We've done pretty much everything we've wanted to do so far during the day, so we're gonna head back to the ship and hang out for a bit. Walked around a bit at night in San Juan. Didn't do a whole lot, but I'm glad we walked around. Headed back to the ship now. And thank you so much for coming out. Who saw me on the Tonight Show or Comedy Central? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's day five, St. Thomas Day. It's about 6.30 a.m. in the morning, and we will be getting to St. Thomas in about an hour. We get uh, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in St. Thomas today. Our plan is to get off early and head over to one of the beaches, and uh, we'll probably take a taxi to get there, have a beach day for a few hours, come back, and then maybe have lunch on the ship and with the remaining time we have, walk around the area of the port, uh, which I believe is Haven Site in St. Thomas. We just went down for a coffee. We'll probably gra uh, grab a little bit of breakfast before we get off. So I'm looking forward to the day. <laughs> p.m. in the afternoon and I'm hiking up to Paradise Point. There's a gondola that takes you there but 
I like a little exercise, a little over a mile walk, and I'm on my own for this one. But that was a taste of the view, and I'm probably about halfway up. six we are at sea all day today as well as tomorrow no more port stops uh, last night after the comedy magician we went to a game show on board and then they had an open mic comedy stand-up night uh, so we went to that as well went to bed a little later so we're getting started at eight o'clock this morning and we're about to head down for our coffee and then probably get some breakfast and the last two days, both at sea, we're going to try, just try to find um, a lot of the stuff they've got going on, try to do as many of the activities that look entertaining, hopefully get some relaxing time upstairs on the top deck, and I'll uh, take you with me with all the stuff we do. Uh, but yeah, we're, we need some coffee, so we're going to go do that right now. Good evening everybody just checking in it is 9 40 p.m on day six still we've been having a great day the uh the rock opera show they don't allow any video recording but uh so i didn't record that at all but that was probably the highlight that stood out the most so far uh, we just came up from one of the game shows on board that was a lot of fun and uh, we're gonna go to a little bit of karaoke, I think, and then there is another comedian tonight. So that's what we've got. We're gonna go do those things the rest of the night and then wake up on the final day, day seven. Good morning everybody, it's day seven, the final day of the cruise. I'm expecting today will be a lot like yesterday since we are at sea all day again. We'll just kind of try to take advantage of as many of the exciting onboard activities that look good to us. Uh, but right now we're gonna go get some coffee and chai.
last dinner, everybody. is the 27th disembarkation day and uh, we just had our last breakfast and uh, yeah we've got to get off the ship so it's a sad day very sad day We are back home and I'm gonna wrap this cruise up in the office. It's always sad when the cruise comes to an end, but we had a fantastic time on our second cruise. I'm always so impressed with how well organized it is and how amazing the staff is. Again, my goal with this video is try to give you the best possible idea of what it's like to be on that cruise. So hopefully you found it helpful. Before I end this video, I just wanna wrap up with an FAQ. Um, not that I'm getting frequently asked questions, but just some things that I came up with that I think will also be helpful for you. Number one is the medallion. The medallion is very important. You get it before you get on the ship and it acts one as your room key. So when you get close enough to your room, it'll automatically unlock the door. Two, it is a GPS tracker. So you and your shipmates can locate each other as well as the staff can locate you. So they'll know where you are. Three, it is the way you pay for stuff on the ship, whether it's with your onboard cruise credit or the credit card that you attach to the medallion. And lastly, it is how you get on or off the ship at the port stops. Um, you tap it on your way in and out so they'll know if you're on the ship or not. Next is the packages. So you might be looking at the two packages, the Plus and the Premier, and deciding which one you want or if you even need a package at all. Uh, both times we've sailed with Princess, I have chosen not to get a package and I've not regretted that decision. Um, I don't drink a lot, so that definitely helped me to make my choice. Also, they allow any passenger who's 21 or over to bring a bottle of wine on board. So both times we've sailed with Princess, uh, we've just brought our own wine on and that's been plenty. And then, uh, you know, if we need to order a drink or two, it still costs a lot less in the long run versus paying for the package. The packages both include Wi-Fi. I'm on my phone too much on a regular basis anyway, so I enjoyed not having the Wi-Fi in the ship. It was nice to just have the escape and not go on my phone at all while on the ship. Number three, a room tour would be helpful. I was gonna make a room tour, but the room was identical to the balcony that we stayed on on the Discovery Princess in 2022, which I did make a room tour for. So I'm gonna link that in the description below. So if you wanna see what the room will look like for a balcony, it was identical to that other balcony from the Discovery Princess. So the Discovery and the Enchanted Balconies, identical. Number four, included food versus paid food. 
So there are plenty of options of included or free food on the ship. Um, that would obviously include the buffet, the three main dining rooms. Those are the places we ate the most. There are a couple other little restaurants on board uh, that are free. I believe the Salty Dog Cafe that's by the pool deck. And then there's a pizza place there, uh, which I didn't eat at, but I think that's free. And then there's the free soft serve ice cream. Um, there might be some others as well. The only paid restaurant that we ate at was Gigi's Pizza, which used to be free, but definitely was worth it. We used our onboard cruise credits to go there a couple times. And if you're gluten-free like me, they've got the best gluten-free pizza I've ever had. The way I see it though, there's so much good free food on the ship and there's such a variety of options, whether it is the buffet or the main dining room, I never found the need that I wanted to pay for anything other than the pizza. Last thing I'm gonna talk about here is the app. The app is a little slow and could probably use some work, but at the same time is extremely useful. Make sure you download it before you get on the ship. It allows you to locate your shipmates, order food and drinks, see a list of all the activities for the day, make dinner reservations, and there's more stuff you can do on there. That's about all I can think of for now. Again, I really hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. If you have any questions or you just wanna say hi, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.